the next weekend we were taken to the police station what did i say police station to still inquire us about the situation meanwhile Milo and Nido had left the school remaining with the 11 girls we were taken to the police station to write statements so i had called my mom already and told her mommy this is what has happened even though i was in the house but because my name was in the book i need to be part of the going up and down going up and down <laughs> support i am still alive and kicking and give me one reason why you think i shouldn't be happy i mean i have life if you have life you have everything so i am basically happy about my birthday so guys we'll just take one second at a time and type in the comment section happy birthday to you and i'll be sure to respond to all the guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you welcome the name is princess mimi an actress and a youtuber but if you are part of the family already you all know what is about to go down <laughs> title it's a story time it's something that happened to me in shs i can't forget this incident that happened to me when this thing actually happened to me i felt like my whole world was falling apart guys if i want to start from how everything happened guys this video is going to be so long and it's going to be so boring at the end of the day so i just have to cut some things so short hey guys that was just by the way let's get right into the video it all happened after my award i became so famous in my school i mean i had an award in shs and i became i literally became famous in my school and some other senior high schools as well so I wasn't the only famous girl in my school or in my class, no. So I also had famous friends as well in other classes. So my other friends decided we create a clique to organize parties during vacation. So one day they told us we should meet in a class so that they can elaborate on how the clique is going to be like because some of us had no idea how it was gonna work. We met, we met in one classroom. And they introduced the clique to us that, okay, since you guys are here, this is the clique's name. We are going to be writing all of your names in this particular book. So when you leave and you go and think about it, that, hmm, I don't think I'm interested. Then you come so that we cancel your name. But if you think you are cool with a clique decision, then I mean, you, you become a part of the clique. I hope you are getting me after the meeting i decided to go and see my school mom to talk to her about if that decision was cool so i mean i went to see my school mom and she told me no in this school when they see you are part of this so and so and so you are likely to be debordinized they are going to fail you in your classes so i got to get a clue of what will happen if i indulge myself in such these two girls let me give them this name milo and nido okay they were like let's say the president the president of the clique so let's say milo and nido so i went to see milo and nido and i told them oh right charlie i'm not interested so that was it but after i told them they weren't able to cancel my name because when i met them i mean the book wasn't with them so i think I understand that part too the book wasn't with them so i told them i wouldn't join the clique but when i told them the book wasn't with them so i don't know whether they cancelled my name or so i mean after this whole process i didn't know whether they were still meeting whether they were like still talking talking about how to improve the clique or not i had no so one wednesday i was there and something was telling me you need to go home you need to go home I had my provisions i had enough money i had everything so why would something push me to go home and i was like ah, if 
I went to go home. What would I tell my house mistress? Because my house mistress was, she wasn't somebody you can play with her. Madam, my head is paying me. I want to go home. Now lie. You have to, I mean, create something. You need to create something. So, I mean, I went to see my house mistress and I told her, Madam, please, I need to go home and do it. And she said, why? I think I fabricated some stories. So she told me before she would let me go home, I need to scrap the administration's gutter. If you attended my school, you know what I'm talking about. And because I was the victim, I wouldn't lie. Why would I lie? I went through all of this. So just feel the pain. If you went to the same school with me, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention my school's name here. Yeah. So I had to talk to my friends to help me fix the situation out before I can go home. I mean, I didn't have any reason, no, but something was pushing me to go home. So Friday after school, my friends helped me and I scrubbed that gutter from administration to the down gate. So when I was done, I went to my house mistress and I told her, Madam, please, I'm done. Then she signed the exit and she gave it to me. When I was going, I think I passed through the down gate. I went home and my brother asked at that time, that time you know I was young, so he was taking care of me. When I got home, he wasn't there. So I went to sleep. My chin me kissed me. Then I woke up, my brother was there. Hey, why are you home? And I said, Oh, he knew I was lying. And he said, Then tomorrow morning, take your bag and go back to school. So I had no option than to return to school the next day. And you know something in SHS, eh? When you go home and you are coming, you can't just take your bag, iron your clothes, and just go. You need to, I mean, cook something or you need to buy some food so that you can literally eat with your friends. I mean, hey, at Senate School, we did Gary or Kofi, I was so bad. What do you want to No, it doesn't work that way. You need to either cook something or when you are coming, you need to order something so that you can share with your friends. So when I was coming back, I prepared oil rice. I prepared oil rice and pepper because that one, a bit smashed from Bia, so anybody can get them to eat. When I buy three cups of rice, or your pepper, tomato, space, I will get a lot of food to share to my friends. So, I mean, and it was in my bag. I didn't know anything, no, I didn't know that something has happened in the school. Me, I was coming very angry because my brother refused to let me stay to let me enjoy in the house to me i was going to the school and i passed through the down gates okay i forgot that was an inspection day general inspection day me i forgot so when i entered the school see, like, the school was so silent and i was like hey, what is going on oh me i kept walking you know be before i can get to my house there is get one house here, Dufie house here, a Chan house here. So before I get to my house, I literally have to see get one and Dufie house before I get to a Chan house. And I have this wonderful sister. I mean, she was, she was informed too, and I was informed one, so she was like my school sister. She's called Noella. Noella. Mm. So as soon as I got to, I passed by all the houses were under meeting because I didn't. You could tell something has happened and the various houses were just meeting to talk about it. So Noella came to me and she was like, Princess, what have you done? I was like, what have I done? She said, okay, you go to the dormitory. When I finish, I'll come back to see you. So Noella, what Noella said gave me a clue that hmm, something has happened. And I have to walk to go and join my house. When I was walking to get to my house, everybody turned and they were looking at me like this. And just like I was like, what is going on? What is going on? Me, pa, that I've gone home and I'm coming back. Nobody talked to me in my dormitory. Nobody talked to me like, hey, princess, what the, the day in the bar, yeah? What did you bring? The way I'm hungry, pa, bring the food, be, be. You know, it's just when you go home and you're coming. Like, people want to eat the food. We don't care about you yourself. We, we, we want to enter your bag and bring the food. Nobody talked to me. My friends didn't talk to me in the dormitory. Then from there, I went to my school mom in Dufier's house, Sister Ashley. 
my sister actually told me everything that happened. She was like, uh huh. They said this particular clique, they are going to burn the school. So when Milo, the two girls, when Milo and Nido, they attempted to burn the school, they were nearly caught. So when they were running, they threw some book on the floor. And in the book, it consists of 13 girls, their names, and you are number three. That is the more reason why when you go to the dormitory, I think people are trying to snitch on you. Guys, they said they saw them all in black roaming about the school. And the next morning, they find out the administration was burning and they met the book on the floor. They are trying to burn the school administration block. Like, why? If you are watching this video, you would think I'm just kidding or I'm just fabricating lies. When this issue happening, and today I'm just laughing, looking all glammed up and just trying to advise my fellow people who are intending to go to school or who are already in SHS. Guys, so literally, my school mom had already explained to me everything that happened. So I knew what was going on and why people were not talking to me and why people were looking at me double double. The exams was just at the corner and we had to learn. We had to learn and this issue Monday we were in class and they said they are calling all pressure girls. That was the name of the clique, pressure girls. And I mean, we had to go to the headmistress office. At that time, Milo and Nido had left the school. I wasn't there. This is something when I came, they told me I wasn't there. They said Milo and Nido attempted to burn the administration block. So when they were nearly caught, they ran and they threw the book on the floor. So when Mr. This and Mrs. This went to, like, when they went to meet up with the situation, they found the book on the floor and they found the administration burning. So that means they took the book and when they came, they searched in the book and they found 13 girl's name, out of which Princess Mimi. Princess, I got fame. My name was number three. So when they called us to the headmistress office, we went there and they asked us me. My answer was no. Madam, please. Yes, I know about the click. But I told them I wasn't interested. So they should cancel my name. And on that particular day that issue happened, Madam, please. I took a death and I went home. That was my statement. The next weekend, we were taken to the police station. What did I say? police station to still inquire us about the situation meanwhile milo and nido had left the school remaining with 11 girls i remember we were 13 i remember the names were 13 i don't know 13 so milo and nido left remaining 11 girls so i had called my mom already and told her mommy this is what has happened even though i was in the house but because my name was in the book. I need to be part of the going up and down, going up and down. And I called my best friend, Adriana. She was in cast as a then. And Adriana, I mean, she consoled me that, okay, whatever that happens, I should give her, uh, I should give her the feedback. I used to talk to my mom and Adriana. They were the two people that knew what I was going through when I was in school as of that time. After we came back from the police station one day we are writing exams it was announced in the siren that the headmistress wants to see all of us so we had to stop writing and go i remember that prep time that prep time we got a pro for that but it was ICT. i remember right sir, if you remember this come and comment down below so as soon as i got my paper the poor has two, little, little. So me, I, I didn't start from the my name, the back then because I knew they would come and call us because as a 
Baby and I, they were coming to call us. Uh, I was writing. I was writing. I was writing. Say, so, please, we are looking for Princess Maria. Hey, Wahala. I need to stop that. So when we went to the headmistress office, and she gave her final judgment that she gave her final judgment that we need to be the body the action that is goes against the rules of the school. I was like, you, you said you went home. Who, who is your house mistress? And I said, Madam, this. And she said, okay. Mr. This, go and get me Madam This and come. When my madam came, my, my madam was like, Ah, this girl, she went home. Oh, oh yes, I signed the exit for her. And my heart, it was like this. Oh. And it came like this. And my other friends, we told them to call their parents. Yeah, I remember to come for them or whatever. And their parents, had to come for them since they were debodinized. If my house mistress hadn't come to the headmistress and tell her or confirm to her that, oh yes, I literally went home with the exit card, I would have been part of my friends. I would have been debodinized. Just imagine if my parents were so poor and I lived in a region far from Ashanti region, what would I have done? School dropouts? Oh yeah. Because let's say I live in North and my parents are so poor and I attend school in Ashanti region and I'm debodinized. How was it going to work for me? That means I indulge myself in bad friends or like I don't know how to put it. And at the end of the day, I'm being debodinized. But because of my exact card, it saved me from being debodinized guys please this brings us to the end of the video so if you are watching this video and you intend to go to school or you have a younger brother or you have a younger sister who is about entering the shs please advise him or her stay away from bad friends don't indulge yourself in any clique you can be on your own and be doing your thing you can be famous yourself and be attending parties. And it's up to you how you handle yourself. Don't join any clique. Don't indulge yourself into any bad activities. How would I have come from North to Ashanti region? Just imagine. Even though I lived in Kumasi, Bremai to be precise, so Bremai and my school was just 10 minutes or 20 minutes away. Yeah. I'm just citing an example. Just ask yourself maybe if I was to be living in North and my parents were not well to do and I was being debodinized. This situation would have affected my school, like my, my, my life, my career, my everything. But my exit card, my exit card saved me from being debodinized. So guys, please, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you really enjoyed my story time. Let me know if you like story time because I got a lot of story times to bring it out on my channel.